What's up everybody? Happy Friday. Today's July 7th. Welcome to this week's video update. Quick uh, housekeeping item. Just wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of our new course called Winning Options Strategies for Any Market. You can check this out on our website. And as always, we really appreciate any feedback once you take the course. So looking forward to that. It's all about directional strategies. Not so much the market neutral income strategies, but, but getting a little bit more directional. So it's a great course. Hope you like it and let me know what you think. Let's, uh, let's jump into this week's alerts. Starting on Monday the 3rd, we had a closing trade in corn. And so we basically closed out the remaining put side of what was originally an iron condor. Made a nice profit on the trade overall. Uh, we're still holding a, the full iron condor in corn in the September cycle. So if we take a look at corn, and price has moved up to our, it's right at our break even there. So I actually was trying to get filled on an adjustment to take off that put side, because there's not too much extrinsic value left in those options. Um, let me show you what I mean by that. So if we take off, unclick the call so we just have on the put side, uh, you can see that there's, there's just not much premium left in those options. So I was actually trying to get filled on that, never did today. Uh, and so we'll, we'll look to potentially adjust that trade early on, early next week by removing the put side and then adding another full iron condor uh, with price centered around it. So look for that early next week. The next trade alert also on Monday was a closing trade. We closed the call side of, uh, of the iron condor in wheat. Uh, on this one, it I mean, we had a huge move in wheat. It blew, blew through the, uh, blew through our upside to see this massive move in wheat. So that that was so far out of the money. Excuse me, so far in the money that we ended up just closing out the uh, closing out the entire uh, iron condor as opposed to as opposed to waiting. So. There's 53 days left, still a ton of premium, so it made sense just to close it out. And and because we also, if I didn't already have this on, I would have put another one on, but we also have that that full iron condor that's still very centered. You can see what that expansion in price did to volatility as well. You see this is very centered, but we're, we're down a little bit of money. And that's due to the options getting more expensive, that implied volatility going up. So. Good opportunity to, if you don't have a position on in wheat, uh, the options are still fairly high priced. So we'll continue to monitor that. Next trade was 4th of July, obviously no trades on the 4th. Next trade was on the 5th. And this was a closing trade that we did in Microsoft. Booked about a 40% of max profit in there with only 16 days to expiration. We wanted to get out of that trade, uh, you know, as opposed to rolling or, you know, or anything else because of that uh, earnings announcement coming up on 720 we were just looking to get out of that trade so we didn't wait for the full 50 percent of max profit because of the earnings coming up and potential implied volatility increasing going into that earnings announcement but still booked a nice profit of over 40 percent of max on that one also on the fifth another closing trade in costco we had a butterfly on in there Booked over 20% of debit paid. Same thing, just 16 days left expiration. So we were looking for a, an exit point on that. So we usually look to get kind of 20 to 30% of the debit paid on a butterfly. So we got 20, very nice. Uh, so that was a good trade. On the sixth, we did an opening trade where we sold a strangle in XRT. Uh, IV percentile jumped up to 64. So just selling some premium in there to take advantage of the high IV. If we take a look at XRT, you can see we're still very centered. A little bit of profit, not enough to take off yet. So we will continue to monitor. Next trade was in Target, and we had a we had previously sold a straddle, and so we closed out of that for, for about 20% of max profit in less than 10 days. So we got a nice just range-bound market and a little bit of a contraction in volatility. So we booked that profit in Target. And then today, we did a closing trade in oil, booked 40% of max profit on that one. 
Um, we were only in the trade for, for 17 days, so if it's kind of under that 20 day mark, we're, gonna, we're not gonna wait for the full 50% of max profit. We're gonna go ahead and t book those profits and run. Uh, if, if implied volatility continues higher early next week, we'll look to add some additional uh, trades in oil. Keep in mind, we did add this additional um, uh, position in XOP, which is very correlated to oil. So, you know, don't don't overextend yourself in one market. These are very highly correlated. But implied volatility was still very high in XOP. IV percentile currently at 79 when we put this on. Uh, so we sold a straddle. Being that it's such a low price product, it's about a $30 symbol. Uh, you know, trying to stretch that out into a strangle or an iron condor, you just don't get quite the bang for the buck. And with implied volatility as high as it is, straddle is a, is a good trade for that type of situation. So if we look at XOP, you can still, you can see, we just did this today, so still very centered. And uh, we'll continue to, to watch that. As far as our other current positions we have, we've got this uh, a debit spread that we put on in ES. And so, well, I've got, I've got a, one other thing on in there, but so what we've got here is uh, this, this uh, put spread, put vertical. So you can see we've got a nice profit in it. The whole reason we put this on was to, was to have some short delta in our portfolio. And, and so I wanna keep this on if we make a, a nice, another move down in the stock market early next week, we'll, we'll take this off, but still wanted to keep that short delta on for now. And if we take that off, we'll wanna add something else as, as short delta next week as well. So we always have more short delta than we do theta in the portfolio. I've done videos on that before. So if you're not familiar with that concept, make sure you check out those videos. Uh, let's see, corn. I think I mentioned corn. We've got this iron condor here. We'll look to adjust that early next week, potentially. Soybeans, we've got an iron condor in here as well. Uh, price just kind of hanging out still within our range. So just need a little bit of a down move in soybeans to benefit that position. Uh, wheat, I already mentioned that. DIA, the diamonds, we've got this adjusted iron condor. Price is still kind of hanging out up here above our break even, so we need a, a move down in DIA to get out of that position. We've already, we already took off the, the uh, put side. It was originally an iron condor, so we're just looking for that down move to, to benefit that. In the queues, still have this uh, strangle on that we put on last week. Uh, the implied volatility continues to stay high in the queues. Makes it a great opportunity to, to, uh, to sell premium. Uh, we'll, we'll look to actually add more premium if we get it. You know, if, if price continues to move out of center from our, from our position here, we'll look to add a new centered position as well. Or if it moves back up and, and we can just bank that profit, we will do that as well. In RUT, in the Russell 2000 index, we've got this butter, uh, excuse me, calendar spread. And we're up a good amount of money. Total risk on this trade, as you can see, is about 974. So I like to, of the debit we paid for it. So I like to get about 20%, 20 to 25% of the debit paid on these calendar spreads. So about 180, 190 bucks. So if we got a little bit of a move down, a little bit more of an expansion in IV, we can book this uh, profit. So potentially look to do that early next week. And then in SPY, we've got this iron condor, still very centered, uh, not enough profit to take off yet at this point but we'll continue to watch that. XOP I mentioned and XRT I mentioned. We've got the, the centered strangle here in XRT. So those are our trades. That is our portfolio. The other thing I wanted to show you guys on the in your, in your personal members homepage is the closed trades. So if you haven't checked this out yet, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of an addition uh, that, we've, that we've put in. So I hope you like it. Uh, for example, we finally closed out of this uh, oil position. And so the way that I'm gonna show these, and I think the best way to keep track, if you're keeping track of your trades at home as far as the adjustments and everything else is, once we're, once we're completely out of this trade, that's when I'm gonna post this on the closed position. So you can see with, with oil, we were in this for quite a while, uh, doing multiple adjustments and, and opening new positions, closing them out. 
And so once we finally closed out of that today, I posted this in the closed position. So we made about 600 bucks total profit on that trade. Uh, the Target straddle I mentioned made about $102 in that. Costco butterfly about 128 there. Microsoft strangle 180 bucks there. So I'm always gonna have the closed positions that we closed in the current month right here. And then once, uh, once we move to the next month, I'll, I'll uh, create a, a button where you can view closed positions from past months. So you can click on that to view the June positions. But off to, off to a good start here in July in just the first seven days, we've built some nice profits. And so hopefully that continues on. So I hope you guys like these new features. Any feedback or suggestions, shoot me an email. We've also got this uh, uh, form here at the bottom of the members homepage. So if you have any testimonials about your alerts, about the courses, any feedback is, is awesome. We'd love to hear it. So we would love any, uh, any comments there. Everybody have a great weekend. Hope you have a great week of trading coming up next week. Hopefully some of this implied volatility stays in the market. Always makes it more interesting for traders like us. So have a great weekend. Talk to you later.